Just a quick update clip on the tank. I've now added some fancy decals. Uh, and as you'll see, I have completely removed the top of the tank. I've left this um, this board here to give the tank some support so she doesn't bow. And I've also started to add some floating rafts to the system. Bit of a crude attempt, but um, work with what you got. Um, just using these in some gravel. And the cardboard there is just to stop the pots falling straight through the holes in case the holes are a bit big. That there is my um, emergency power outage outlet. So when the power goes off, that'll squirt water straight in, uh, giving a bit of air, a bit of water movement. As you can see here, I've got plenty of air going into this tank. If I just pull the, the air lines out, I might even be able to see some fish. A few goldies in there. No floaters, it's always good. Uh, there's there's actually quite a lot of fish in here. I'm not sure if you can make them out, but there's a school off them up the back. Silver perch, trout, yod goldie. Um, and they seem to be doing really well. So, there you have it. Double use fish tank, turn it into a floating raft. Once the roots start growing down, the fish will get a little nibble at that, a bit of extra greens into their diet. And I'm just running these three air stones hooked up to a septic tank uh, air compressor. So plenty of air, as you'll see. So that's just two. And pop the other two over the other side. Give it a bit of slack. Plenty of air in there bubbling away. It's all going well. Tank held together well. I was a bit sure, wasn't a bit sure if it was going to bow by cutting the top. But um, this treated pine sleeper I had bolted in place previously. Um, well, it's nailed in via a plate. That seems to have held the shape. Yeah, all is well.